Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on basics of functions in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn importance of functions, to declare a function, to call a function, workflow of a function with the help of an example. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, Please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system. Till now, we were using GNU Bash version 4.1.10. From now onwards, we will use GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us see what is a function and its usage. A function is a collection of commands or an algorithm. It is intended to do a specific task. It is used to break up a complex program into separate tasks. This improves overall script readability and ease of use. There are two syntax for function declaration. First syntax is function space function name within curly brackets the commands to be executed. The second syntax is function name open and close round brackets within curly brackets the commands to be executed. Function call function can be called anywhere within the program. Type the function name at the location where you want to call it. The syntax is the function name itself. Let us understand this with the help of a simple example. I have already typed the code in a file function.sh. This is the shebang line. Function is declared by the keyword function followed by function name. Here the function name is machine. The content within curly brackets is called function definition. I have displayed various machine details like uname hyphen A gives machine information, W hyphen H gives users logged on to system, uptime gives the time since machine was on, free gives memory status, DF hyphen H gives file system status. The main program starts here. We display the message beginning of main program. Here machine is a function call. Then we display the message end of main program. Let us understand the workflow. When the bash interpreter visits the function definition, it simply scans the function. The function is called only when its name appears within the script. When the interpreter reads the function name, it executes the function definition. The interpreter treats function name as a command. Please remember that we have to define the function before calling it. Now go to the terminal to make this code file executable. Type chmode space plus x space function dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash function dot sh. Press enter. The output that is the machine details of my system are seen on the terminal. Please note the output will vary from system to system. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Come back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned importance of functions, function declaration, function call, workflow of function with an example. As an assignment, write a program with two functions. The first function should display disk space usage in human readable form. Hint df -h. The second function should display file system usage in human readable form. Hint du-h. 
Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Team. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.